very American. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yo, this is probably going to be one of the first movies where I'm going to give my score right off the top. I'm going to say this is a five bandana movie. This this is a five bandana out of five movie, easily, for a lot of reasons. But one of the main reasons is this is the only film I've ever seen Sir Elton John get gangster as a motherfucker. I <laughs> start fucking niggas. Yo, Elton John was fucking snapping, yo. Now, now we know we know Elton John, he the OG when it comes to the music, you know what I mean, composer and all that. Got the voice of an angel, nigga be making it happen and shit. When he get when he get, you know what I mean, when he sit on the piano, magic happens. Like like just Yeah, I know. Yeah, and that's what I be saying. Cause like when he gets on the piano, just like gold rains from the sky and shit like that. Why did you bring her? Uh, Cause she wanted to see the movie. No, she, honest she, answer. Why did you bring her? Cause she loved the first Kingsman. Mia. Didn't didn't you like the first Kingsman? Did you like it? Now you want to get silent. She, just, no. she liked the first one, so she wanted to see this one. But yeah, this is the first movie I've ever seen where he just got gangsters as a motherfucker. Nigga was kidnapped. He was like, well, fuck this shit. He's snapping on niggas. Like, get the fuck out of my face, bitch. Pussy. Like, just mad as yo, shit because he's stuck. Elton what? John was, was fucking snapping, yo. Crazy as shit. But like, yo, the movie, man, they, they ramped everything up, man. They ramped everything up. Now, now you didn't think they had as much action this one than they did in the first one, right? Ah, but the thing is, with me saying that, okay, there wasn't the same amount of action as the first one, but the movie was just as fucking good. And that's the crazy part, because I'm sitting there looking like, damn, they're talking a lot, but they made up for the shit. I mean, did they not? I don't know. Like, I, I think when it comes to the action, like, this one, it might have topped the first one, yo. To me. To me, anyway. Like, I gotta go back and watch the first one. The first one was fucking crazy as shit, but I don't know. And it's like this one, the fighting was better. Like, like I said, it, it was the, the choreography of the fighting was was just crazy. Cause niggas was just solo snapping, solo snapping. Channing Tatum was solo snapping. Fucking yeah, uh, uh the Red bridge. Viper was solo snapping. Oh, uh, <laughs> crazy, yo, crazy. But yeah, like the shit, with the movie start on the high note. Shit is ramping up and shit like that, and and sh just shit, shit is going crazy. They end up, you, you find out that he's he's fucking. Uh, wifed up with, with this badass princess like she bad as shit and she's royalty you find out because this nigga's preparing for a dinner with royalty and shit that you get there like damn nigga she's really a fucking princess shit for real cause he had to hop in the fucking sewer to get to the dinner what was to... his name Egan Egg um... Eggy 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 nigga's a fucking problem I mean, I think his name is Eggsy or something like that Eggsy, I, I, yeah. I, I, I call him Eggy to you know throw a little, little flair on it I call but... him a muscular Tom Holland yeah, I mean that that work too. But like, for right off the bat, you find out that that she loves this nigga. Like, like this is true love because the nigga is covered in shit. Like he had to hop in a sewer, a full sewer to make dinner. On just time you know I mean, just to, you know what I mean to go to go there and shit. And then he's like, all right, well, give me a kiss. So she think about then she asks about the kiss this nigga when he's covered in shit. I'm like, yo, that's true love right there, son. Like if I find a chick and 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 she she's about to kiss when I hop out the dumpster, then you know that's true love, son. That's, that's how you test the chick. That won't happen for us, though. That happens I mean, you, you, like you that. can't be fucking miserable forever. Like, you can't think that shit not gonna happen. Like, you know what I mean? Life goals. Anyway. I mean, she she bad as shit. She in love with this nigga. Like, it, it's, it's a perfect, perfect union right there. So, I mean, they, they were off to their friend's house celebrating his birthday and shit. Got the, got, the, got, the, uh, got the weed, got the liquor, and all that. And then you find out, like, the, 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 uh... The weed is being distributed by by Julianne Moore. Like she she's the kingpin right now. Like she she's the boss, a boss that gives zero fucks about the whole world. She gives no fucks about. Yeah, nothing. like I mean when you, when you when you first see her, like she's sitting there chilling, beautiful as ever. She's still bad as shit. Like she's sitting there just you know what I mean, introducing a new nigga to 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 the organization. Blah blah blah. Give, giving uh, him the speech. <laughs> And like, yeah, this is what we do. And this is how it's gonna be. This is what yeah. you're not gonna do. It's like, see, you got cat hair all over the damn place. You told me inviting her places. At least I don't fucking make the fucking cat hair fly all over the damn sky. She actively said shit at home. Anyway, so she's giving him the rundown. Like, this is what we do. I'm that nigga. So y'all gotta fall in line. So then she's like, all right. So it's cause, cause you know, I mean, one of her, one of her minions brought brought a new nigga in. So she's like, she talked to the new nigga. Like, uh, so. You understand how this goes? I'm the boss. Everything I say, you do, and you shut the fuck up. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, all right, well, 
this nigga been fucking up. So throw him into the into the mincer. Smiling the whole time. But, but she, when she throws this nigga into it, I'm looking like, yo, this shit ain't happening. Next yo. thing you know, fucking um, ground beef comes out. I'm like, Ugh. Yo, she's like, put this nigga in, in, in the shit. Grind, grind him up. Smiling the whole time. He's looking like, wait, what the fuck? So, nigga, see that she, she's trying to run, but then she activate the dogs. The robotic demonized. Right. Benny and I think the other one was called Jets. I think, I think it was Benny and the Jets. I didn't see the other nigga's name, but I'm, I'm assuming it's Jets if that one, that nigga name was Benny. So, <laughs> you know, some Elton John shit. Like, I mean, he was he was relevant in the whole fucking film. But anyway, so <laughs> dog's like, nah, nigga, you ain't going there. You're going in that fucking meat grinder. It is what it is. Dog, damn, they got the bandana on. Cyborg dog. So it's already g the fuck up. So, I mean, he had no choice. Nigga knocked, well, didn't knock him out. Just hit him in the head and shit. Carried him to the fucking meat grinder. Boom. Oh. Boom, straight Kobe beef came out. Like, that shit turned oh. to Zimburger. She just straight made the patty. She, I'm like, yo, man. Yo. When she forced... Oh, fresh no. ass ground beef came out. I'm looking like, yo, man. She And she had the whole Food Network presentation. Throw a little salt on it. Had the garnish in there. I'm like, yo. Wilding the fuck out. Made it look commercial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, Still smiling. She's smiling the whole time. Like, she just smiling. Just You you just turned again in, in, into, into fucking fresh Kobe beef. And you smiling. Garnish, throw the shit on the on, on the stove. I'm thinking about spaghetti at one point. You know, Yo, this is a whole like, yeah, no, fuck that the... shit, man. You don't get hungry after that. Oh, so grind this nigga up. So she's sitting there smiling, like, yeah, go to the salon, get fixed up. He like, uh, okay, all right. So I mean, he go there and and do whatever. So it, it it pretty much shows you where where everything is now. Like as far as the Kingsman, motherfuckers all g'd up, still looking looking fresh with the suits and shit. Like swag is on ten thousand trillion. So I mean, eventually he he goes to to meet the parents at the fucking castle. Oh sh. Now to prep for this, like his his uh his his girl was at the table and she wanted to make sure he knows how to use the silverware and all that. So he has a flashback of uh OG triple OG, uh, like training them how to you know use how to use a force yeah, and how to use everything. Shit, what glasses decent. for what? Like those silverware I never never seen in my fucking life, yo. I didn't know there was like a million different forks for was, everything. Yeah. I'm looking like yo. I, Plastic all day, son. We get happy when we see chopsticks. Yeah, like, even when I get the chopsticks, I get the wooden joints. Like, OG niggas get the plastic ones. I, I just get straight wood, because that's all I know. That's all I can afford. They the wooden get, chopsticks. They get metal chopsticks. I try to fucking, like, 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 uh, uh use the shit for long, longer than I need to. I kept it for like a month. Try to use it again straight. Got a splinter in my hand. Yeah. No, it ain't snap. I got a splinter in my fucking finger, yo. It took a week to get that shit out, son. I'm looking like, yo, how am I supposed to recycle the shit and keep using it if, if the fucking shit won't splinter? Cheap chopstick. Anyway, so she she wanted to make sure you know how to use it. So he has a flashback of OG training him how to how to use everything. So it was kind of an emotional moment because like he even started getting emotional, yeah, which I like, like because they they showed how much he learned from him yeah, in the and, first and, movie and and how much of a loss it was not to have him in his life anymore. So damn, that shit got kind of crazy. He had to turn away in there. I'm like, like yo man, don't start. I don't want to get get the puffy face at the beginning of the fucking movie. Like that shit's crazy. So. Flash forward, he ended up, you know, going going to the going to the dinner and shit. And you could see that that the that her her pop don't like him. He he ice grilling him and shit. Testing him the fuck yeah. out, asking him all these like, questions. Yeah, back to back. You know what I mean, you, you little gangster, like you don't don't call me that. Call call me your majesty. Yeah, you, yeah he said like, um, you dress me proper, motherfucker. Your majesty. You call her your highness. I'm like he said you call my daughter your highness. Yeah, you call you us call your, us majesty. your majesty. I'm like yo, you puffing up your chest for like such a royal ass to fuck down, nigga. Like he just hopped in the shit. And then all of a sudden he switches around, stunning him because he got his homegirl on the other side of the other of the, of the, uh, the glasses. The chick from the first movie, yeah, feeding him all the information. His homie. So he's sitting there, smooth, just impressing him, answering they, every fucking like, Oh shit! Name. Bring out the lobster. Bring out this. He he just asked all kinds of questions. He started asking this nigga so much shit. He even got down to modern questions, saying the Bluetooth. You know about Bluetooth. Yeah, like, the history. Yeah. Like this nigga hit him with the whole history of Bluetooth, where the name came from, what what. What the, uh, the 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 sign is 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 uh, where the sign came from and all that and what it represents. So they like, oh shit, all right. All of a sudden, like, cause his friend is taking care, you know, his dog. End up going in the room he's not supposed to with all his Kingsman shit in it. Fucking. Oh, that's right. I forgot his homie. He told his homie, "Baby, sit while yeah. I go to this dinner with my chick." Door open. You see, he sees all the all the the guns and shit start messing with everything. Put on the glasses. So he's on the other side, and they can see him. And like, put that shit down. Exit. Like, yo, what the fuck is you yeah, doing? Put it down. He, look, he's snapping at the pops. Pop. Wait, what the fuck? He got gangs on me. I didn't expect that. So he's like, put this, put it the fuck down. So, you know, he got a little, little beacon and shit. Pretty much saying, yeah, here I am. Here, I'm right here. Come get me. 
So after after that, then you just see a missile. Boom! Light this nigga the fuck up. Him, his dog, his whole Kills spot. Him and, his, and he just and he's at the dinner table looking like oh. Yeah, and then and then you see you see Julianne Moore looking at the thing and it said targets eliminated. I think it had like she, twenty. It had ten of them. It was ten of them all together. It was ten. I thought it was like twenty. No, it was like ten left. All right, so she it, knocked it, off it, every fucking person that it, was on her radar. It showed the whole thing. They're all Kingsmen. Boom, 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 boom. Got 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 Shorty in in the in the crib. Got her. Got his mans, got everybody. The nigga was at the table, like the old head, having a meeting with the with the dudes, and they just disappearing one by one. He don't know what's going on. He's like, wait, what the fuck was going on? Then all of a sudden, the the thing said missile income. He's like, oh well, fuck. And then boom. And that was the real OG nigga. Yeah. Old head, old head. Boom. When you go out like that, that's some gang shit. Like, well, fuck. That that's the last word. It means well, you know what I mean? He pretty much had a drink and saying like, well, fuck it. Well, fuck, here we go. Fuck it. And I mean, on some Tupac shit, and then he got lit up. So. They they all got wiped the fuck out, all got wiped out. So everybody just got the chopping board. Yeah, and and these like supernatural missiles, like leveling shit. Nobody survived that shit. So it's just it's just him, Mark Strong, Merlin. So at first he's suspecting Merlin. He's like, well, why why the fuck aren't you? Then you get wiped up with everybody like, else. How convenient, motherfucker. You yeah, get blown up. Everybody else got like, blown up. Like bitch, all my people's got wiped the fuck out. Why are you, you still here? Right here? And, and Merlin looking at him like, well, nigga, how the fuck? Yeah, I mean, you ain't do that. Merlin shit. like, uh, well, you still here too, motherfucker. So what's up? You think it's me, bitch? It ain't me. So, I mean, they yeah. they, they calm the fuck down. It was so decent. He pulled the shit out the suitcase saying, nigga, since you're calm now, this is what, you know, he he, sh he pulled out the arm of the dude from the beginning mm. in the car scene. He was like, this is how we were traced, detected, and hacked. Yeah, it's like, this this shit hacked the fuck out of us, so we need to figure out what the fuck is going on. And it was Doomsday the first movie. Yeah, Doomsday Pro, bitch ass, was Charlie? I forgot what his name Bitch was. Fuck that nigga. Fuck it. Anyway, so he pretty much said, all right, shut shut the fuck up. Man the fuck up. No fucking crying, bitch. We'll cry later after shit is done. Man the fuck up. Boop, boop, boop. So the Kingsman rules, nigga. Yeah, it's crying like, like, everything is over. Calm down, bitch. Stuff. You fucking crying, pussy? Like, I mean, pretty much let him have it. That's exactly so, what he called him. Yeah, so anyway, they, they uh, do Doomsday Protocol was in effect. So they went went to the spot and activated the thing, see a little safe. They're like, all right, so whatever's in here has the answers. Straight Kanye. It's got the answers. So open, open the shit up. Whiskey. Whiskey. A full bottle of whiskey. Full bottle of whiskey. It's like, well, all right, well, let's drink the shit. They start toasting to everything. Toasting to the grass. Toasting to the moon. Toasting to the stars. Law's homies. He, he even had a toast to Scotland. Yeah, it was, little, he, was, he, was, he wanted to. That's when he had too much. Like, by this time, he's just bawling. He's just crying because everything hit him. You know what I mean? Because liquor bring that shit out of you. Like, if, if you're emotional, you start drinking, straight bawling, yo. You just straight crying. So, then, then, uh, uh, see little, little, he sees the little K on the bottle. It's a Kentucky. So, it's like, a, all right. Yeah, distilled in Kentucky. Yeah, so, so like, knows. all right, well, you know what? Let's roll, let's roll to Kentucky because that's probably where we got to go because, you know, they see that as a sign. They go to, they go to Kentucky and he meets the, the, you meet the statesman. Now, over here, you got, you got the Kingsman. USA, you got the statesmen. They a whole different level of G to fuck up. They a whole different level. Whatever issues I got with Channing Tatum, that shit went out the door when I saw him get gangster as fuck. First of all, he had the crazy ass entrance, all black, sitting there just just walking smooth. Like, what's up, motherfuckers? With a you cowboy hat yeah, on and a jeans. With my hood, bitch. What's good? What's going on? Y'all ready to do this? You know what I'm saying? So they're like, uh, we're, we're Kingsmen. He's pretty much say, bitch, please. Bitch, please. Like, who, who? Who? Get that shit the fuck out of here. You hacked my shit and. And no regular niggas can do that shit. They had the fucking biometric scanner and shit. It's like, you expect me to believe a little, a little dumbass watch hacked my shit? Bitch, please. So, 2v1. This nigga get gangster as fuck, yo. That's what I, and that's what I'm saying about the fucking fights. Yo, Channing let them niggas have it, yo. Solo. The, Solo. But I felt as though, you know what type of ass whooping that was? That was the type of ass whooping that you get that makes you tell yourself, I don't want to fight anymore because I'm not about this life. Yo, no. he beat these niggas the fuck up and used this niggas watch against them. Stun ha stun had his hand on, on the thing. Straight switched to watch the stun. Boom. Got him with his own shit. Even him was like, who the fuck are you? Who are you? Who is this nigga? And then fell asleep. I'm looking at that shit like, all right, all right well, if this nigga's supposed to play Gambit, okay. Okay. All right. I'll take it because whatever issues I got with this nigga, they're rapidly... Disappearing, like Channing came a long way, son. Cause I used to hate this nigga, yo. And with 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 who was he's in those what step step up movies? Some some step dancing up, shit. Um, Magic Mike. Mm. I ain't talking about Magic Mike that bullshit. I ain't still watching that fucking pop, shit. Still got popcorn everywhere. Anyway, like he got gangster shit. Whoop whoop their ass. They woke up. 
they still, they still, I mean, in the chair all tied up and shit. He's pretty much getting gangster on him still. He got, he got the fucking liquor. He wasting on him about to light, light these niggas the fuck up on fire. I'm like, yo, who is this nigga, yo? So he about to, he about to roast him, and he pretty much, you know, he activate the screen. You see OG Triple OG on the other side. They're like, yo, what the fuck? And then you find out this nigga's alive. He about to light him on fire. Then Holly Bear came in, saved the day, because they was about to get roasted, literally. So she pretty much said, yo, they're, they're kings, man. It's legit. Calm the fuck down. You're like, oh, all right, my bad. We cool? Cool. I'm not trying to get lit on fire. Like, you about to light me on fire, nigga. Bitch, please. He had the fucking torch like, yo. But anyway, so you find out. And I'm glad they did this, because when I saw the trails, I'm like, how is this nigga still alive? He got shot in the face. How? So they have a flashback, showed him getting shot in the face, and it showed how they recovered him. They got this crazy-ass technology put around his shit. They wrap your head in some, Yo. some, some, some rubbery shit, and, and, and it stops the bullet from going towards your brain. But they act the fastest shit when they yeah, got Yeah, yeah, they're straight. As soon as he got shot, helicopter came right down. <laughs> like, all right, let's get him. <laughs> Samuel Jackson was probably still on the road. Like, what the fuck? Like, he was probably cursing all the way down the... <laughs> Bitch, please. Like, motherfucker. Like, all the way down there and shit. They got him and, and, and took him out. But, yeah. That technology is crazy, yo. So, they got him and, and they said the side effect is, you know, sometimes amnesia. amnesia. And the nigga didn't know who the fuck he was. He was... He went back to the point... Before he became a Kingsman, yeah. he was in the army. But before he chose to go to the army... He had, he a, he had, a, he had a choice between the army and, and studying butterflies. And he that's and that's after the, the amnesia, he, he, he referred to the, the butterfly. That's all he was about. Like he was he was about that life. Butterflies. That's it. So they came in, they introduced themselves. He's like, Well, who the fuck are you? Like, I don't I don't know you. I'm I'm about butterflies. I ain't about this shit. So they getting stressed out, they don't know what the fuck is going on. And then you you end up meeting the rest of the the rest of the statesmen. Like they, they their setup is crazy. Nigga niggas sitting there balling. Pretty much said, like, all right, well, our resources are yours. You see, like three hundred trillion, qu qu quibillion. I, that, I don't even know what 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 currency that like. That's not that wasn't a trillion, a billion. That they they breaded the fuck up and pretty much said, you know, whatever you need, you got it. Jeff Bridges sitting there, wild, wilding the fuck out. Like w one thing I do want to say is the fucking cast was was crazy as shit. My fucking shit still ain't recovered from that fucking video. Fuck. Anyway, that's because it's cheap. That's not even plastic. Everything we got is fucking cheap. Yeah, but that's cheaper than cheap. That's that's ridiculous. That's what you call that's ridiculous. All that's I gotta do is crazy glue. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so they they said it was crazy. Jeff Bridges pretty much gave him the whole rundown. It's like, all right, where we we these niggas, you them niggas, we together, cause we in this shit together. So gave gave him the whole fucking the whole fucking speech. Let him know what the shit was. So <clears throat> you you get to meet Red Viper. He was. You gonna call that nigga the name for the rest of his life? Yeah, cause that's that's the first thing I ever saw him in Game yeah. of Thrones. Yeah. And now now I see him in everything. I watch Narcos cause of him and all that. Like he he that nigga son. And that that made, that helps me recover from that bullshit that happened anyway. So you get to meet him and he's just as g'd up as as as, Shannon Tatum. as everybody else. So eventually, um, they 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 uh. uh they they meet up at the at the bar after after they finally after uh, OG Triple OG finally recovers because what is his name they, to find out to, to to get him back to his original state he needs like a flashback from a, of a tra of, of a, tra a traumatic period like first they try to drown this nigga because he almost drowned when he was a kid that, that shit ain't work. that shit didn't work so it just so made him scared as fuck Exy just you know I me mean, bombard him with with you know what I mean like uh, no he brought a dog from the pet store yeah, the same he, dog he, from he his bombard him with with, with Saying that he killed the dog and all that, so he remembers and he's like, "No, that was a blank. I didn't really do that shit." So he finally comes back to himself. So he's like, "All right, well, cool. I'm good now. What's up? We doing this or what?" They go, they go to the bar and they, they, they talking and um making the plans to, to you know see what they got to do. Give him the glass because he straight got a hole in his his eye is fucking gone, yo. That shit is fucking graphic as fuck. Straight fucked up. Gave gave him the glasses. So all of a sudden, this big nigga starts snapping, like he just. Call him, mad shit. Yeah, call him faggot and everything. I'm looking like, yo, who the fuck? You know who you talking to, son? You talking to four OG motherfuckers over here. You better shut your big ass the fuck up. So then that's that's when he he get gangster. So he go to the door. Flashback from the first one. Well, it's not a flashback. It's you know it's what happened in the first one. He go to the door. Locks the lock door. the shit. Pretty much say, uh, you know who the fuck you talking to? Address me properly, bitch. And this is when I had 
another level of respect for this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, oh shit, this shit yeah. is real. He didn't come right out. Yeah, no, he didn't. He didn't just recover and start whooping ass. He tried, but he was getting fucked up because he wasn't all the way there yet. Because he's still like recovering, which is that's that's some that's some, some crazy shit. shit. But too. he still held his own for a little bit. But then he got his ass whooped. So of course, Red Viper pulled him up out of there. Like, all right, my turn. Let me let me show you how I get down, bitch. Got the fucking lasso of truth out. Whoop everybody's ass, and that shit was. That fight was so crazy because niggas was getting their ass whooped in ways I've never seen. With a lasso. Yo, nigga threw the chair at him. He fucking grabbed the fucking chair with the lasso, threw it back at him, nigga flew out the fucking window. He was grabbing knives with that shit and stabbing niggas. Stabbed it. The nigga came at him with the knife. He grabbed the knife with the fucking lasso and wrapped him up and stabbed him with it. Right in the shoulder. I'm looking like, yo, this nigga is the fucking truth, yo. He is crazy. But yeah, man, the fights in this shit was fucking next level, son. Next level. Now, once again, I'm not going to go into every single detail from the movie. So, but, did, yo, the fucking fights in this fucking movie were so next level, man. And that's what you said, you like, you feel as though the fights were a little bit more organized, like the choreography. Yeah, the choreography was, was crazy. It was, this shit was hot. And, and like, the one thing I kept hearing when, when, when uh, before the movie came out is like, people was like, they need a scene that tops the church scene from the first one. Oh, now, uh, we're, we're, we're split here because I really believe that fight at the end with 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 um with both of them against the whole I think I don't know like it was so crazy to the point where I think I think I, it's about preference at this point I think I think it topped it yo but I mean you know, I gotta go back and watch the first one if it didn't top it they they're they're it's neck and neck, neck, and neck. It's almost neck and neck because that shit was fucking crazy yo that shit was legit crazy you also have to but you know what it I got to a certain point in the movie where I felt as though they were talking too much, and I was like, "Yo, why?" I didn't have a problem with that because 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 what was going on? Because everyone was gangster shit. Like I was fine with the talking, especially when it was when it was uh, um um Sir Elton John, because I never seen him get gangster like that. I I can watch that nigga talk all day in this movie. The chick was uh was pretty much giving everybody the rundown because everyone got infected with this with because her drug relates with shit, and then you saw the blue the blue veins and all that. They got chain them out of here, and everybody dude's girl, everybody was affected. So she pretty much had the fucking um display. On, on, on television to the president and everybody else pretty much like I fucked up niggas up this is shit. the step these are the steps that you're gonna go through before you fucking die unless you give me my shit what was that shit that shit said first you go step one the blue veins blue rash. step step two the, no that was step three step step two was the dancing it's like I mean you, you start fidgeting and, or dancing whatever like that step three paralysis like bitch you can't move step four your eyeballs popping the fuck out Boom. blood stop everywhere breathing. you fucking die bitch that, that's pretty much what she said and then, you know what I mean? She's like, but that's not the end. All you gotta do is give me my shit, and everything's cool. So Elton John, he paralyzed, get, give him the shit, and he finally get normal. This is when he starts snapping. Like, what the fuck? Away, bitch, what the fuck you do? Bitch, 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 bitch. bitch fucking bitch. sat down and shit. He snapped at the nigga over there the whole time. Like, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Who the fuck are you? Like, he's snapping, yo. Elton is snapping. That, yo, Elton shit was hysterical, yo. Hysterical. And then the president was a fucking piece of shit. He was an asshole. The president was a fucking piece of shit. The president was an asshole. The president in this movie can be compared to... I don't know if anybody watches Prison Break but me, but the president in this movie, you can compare him to the general in Prison Break. An asshole. doesn't care about the world. Dude was a fucking asshole. But he was funny as shit, though, because like, the one conversation he had pretty much said... She said, like, all right, give me my shit and niggas won't die. He was like, all right, all right, just give me... How much time do you need? Like, what's going to be the delivery method? And she, like, and she pretty much says, like, all right, all right. He closed the laptop, like, bitch! Like, I mean, he, he pretty much snapped. Like, gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Stupid ass bitch. I'm like, yeah, the president is fucking wild, yo. Evil is a motherfucker. But yeah, the movie was, yo, the movie was crazy, man. The shit that they did. The movie was the, good. The, the, the fighting. Oh, my God, man. The movie was really good. It was like, the, the fights were so fucking intense. Like, they were so <laughs> fucking intense, man. Like, I like that. One of the funniest scenes in the movie is when, when they was uh, in, in, that, in that snow thing the the i forgot what the the, the lift when it goes up to the skiing shit oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, and, and the shit was 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 going down to the fucking old nursing home whatever like that the two <laughs> old niggas sitting there stopping oh, oh fuck, fuck oh fuck and, and they end up fucking stopping and shit niggas and what, what the niggas say like oh hey boy said that's, that's the best shit that i've taken in three days yeah he said something like that like that's like the most in, not the most enjoyable like pretty much that's the best shit i had in weeks like <laughs> they <laughs> The, clear, that, clear that nigga all yeah, the fuck out. Yeah, up, oh, like fill the whole fucking seat. But yeah, the, the comedy was was like to me none of the comedy felt forced. It was all funny as shit. Funny as shit the man. action was crazy. It was the perfect balance between action, comedy, just crazy shit happening. Matthew Vaughn is that nigga. All the whole cast. Holly Berry played her part. Yeah, 
everybody had their... Man, yo, this was a great fucking movie, yo. It was a great fucking movie, and it's easily a five-bandana movie for me. Because there's so many elements that I can just pick and, like, great, 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 great. This is a great movie, yo. Out, out of five bandanas, what do you give this shit? I'm giving it four out of five. Okay. Only reason why it's not getting five is because of the middle of the movie, the, you know, large amount of conversations, you know. I was fine with that shit. I didn't have no problem with any of the talking because it was crazy shit happening. That's my only knock on the movie. That's my only knock. All right, well. It was look, still good as shit. It was good as shit. Five, five band dance for me. Crazy gas movie. If you haven't seen this shit, go see the go shit. See if, you, if you've seen it already, go see it again. And do watch. not pay attention to Rotten Tomatoes, man, IMDb, look, none, none of that shit. Whatever, don't listen to nobody, man. Don't even listen to me. Just go see, see, go see the shit and see what you think. Go see for yourself. Go over and watch the first one. Go watch this again. Crazy ass movie, son. Crazy ass fucking movie. I love this fucking shit. And I got to see it again and again and again. This is a crazy ass movie, yo. I love this fucking shit, man. Loved it. We've got brains, skills, skipping rope.